So, am well, I recording? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think so. Um, I was just uh, looking at um, a friend of mine, Jermaine's video uh, that he's just recently released, um, and I noticed a lot of comments on it about um, he should, they, those guys should go from America, and um, I've also just seen a lot of stuff about um, Muslim people in our communities in New Zealand not feeling comfortable to be wearing a burqa. Um, I own a burqa. Um, my parents lived in the Middle East. My mum still lives there. So I kind of get that uh, prejudice. Um, I also myself actually make a joke, even with people who I know, um, about how yeah, after about three or four months in Auckland, uh, I feel the need to leave. I feel the pressure of um, the kind of closed inness of Auckland, um, and it gets at me, and I need to leave. But I feel it really negatively. Um, and I just wondered, when, when I was thinking about us telling people who are successful to leave, why do we, why do, we do that? Um, you get to a certain level, like we've got this tall poppy, we all accept tall poppy, we all accept we have a bullying issue in schools even, I mean, I'm talking about some bullying, but why when people hit success levels, is it not okay to stay here? Like, I understand we've got that whole distance of tyranny thing, you know, um, like we've got to go travelling and blah, blah, but... but like, I, I've travelled, Jermaine's travelled, um, and if you know Jermaine, I'm talking about Jermaine, J Geek and the Geeks, um, Jermaine worked with C4 for years, so he, he's travelled, it's not that he hasn't travelled. Why do we feel the need to say go to America? I mean, they, these boys are about, like, they're about Maori, do you know, they want to do something cool for Maori, like, where would you be besides New Zealand to do something cool for Maori? And I've done it myself. I've even thought, why don't you go somewhere else? And it's because I think personally, we seem to be so hateful of each other when we're here. We like New Zealanders overseas. We like each other when we're overseas and you meet someone from New Zealand. But here, I mean, I think our whole society suffers from bystander influence. Like we have a birthday party or a friend of mine who was back from overseas recently had apparently organized a dinner. I had no idea of any of the details of this or how this worked, but he just called me, he messaged me, um, and he said, you know, I'm, I'm in town, love to catch up. Spoke to him on the phone, um, had a quick chat, and I was actually writing and editing a magazine, a magazine that I still don't feel comfortable about releasing quite openly because I'm not uh, comfortable with the, the editing as yet. But the point is, is that I was not in a position to be able to go, and I went, and I was the only one. And he said to me, oh yeah, New Zealand is like, blah, blah. Um, you know, it was sending texts back and stuff, which I have myself complained about also. And then a friend of mine the next night said to me, uh, oh yeah, did you go to Henry's dinner? And I, said, I didn't realise it was a dinner. <laughs> I was the only person there. And I, he called me and was sounded a little disappointed and said, well, I'm not going to the restaurant, do you want to just come to my house? So I went and had dinner with him and his parents. Um, but you know, I wonder why why we so badly feel the need to cut people down when they do something that they feel is right. And I heard someone mention to me the other day a quote that had to do with moral courage, doing the right thing even if you know it's not going to be the best thing. So think about this generation or the next generation having a lot of moral courage. I'm not sure that's right. I think maybe when I speak to people younger than me, they kind of tend to see it a little bit more like I do. And while throughout my life I've asked, well, you know, when, when my parents used to have friends over and they'd say, oh, this is the problem, or kids and this, or, you know, people, whatever it is, drug fiends and blah, whatever it is, whatever the problem, it always came back to society. And as, a, as an eight-year-old, I used to ask, well, who's society? And I sincerely meant, who is society? Because if it is, if isn't it you and I? And I think that maybe we suffer from learned helplessness more than anything. And I think that maybe youth, they see themselves as part of society. If you, if you're part of society, then how do you, uh, how do you rectify those ills we create over and over and over and over again? So at least in New Zealand, what we do, being innovative and all, is you try with no encouragement or support, and people will ridicule you. And when you succeed, go away. <laughs> no wonder no one wants to live in New Zealand. I don't think it's brain drain or economy or anything else.
but that's just my personal perspective. Why do you think we tell people to leave? 